Hello, YouTubers. We're heading to Henley Royal Regatta Qualifiers. Foot. <laughs> Which, funnily enough, takes place here on Henley on Thames. And tomorrow, I'll be going as fast as I can down the course to see how I get on in the qualifiers. The finish line is just over here. And hopefully, I'll put down some serious yam in order to go as fast as I can for qualifiers. Now it's time to get the boat, put it in the tents, and get some food. Because remember, food is fuel. Quit. And we've got Eamon Glavin behind the camera today, hopefully for the rest of the video too, helping out when he can, getting some footage when I can't, when my hands are full doing things like this. Oh yeah. Nice. It works out perfectly. <laughs> Teamwork, let's go. <laughs> no issues whatsoever. <laughs> the, uh, Very impressive getting that down. Like, that's, that's cool. It's, uh, well, that's what I had the ladder rack would go backwards. And nothing ever happened with it, but it was just like so. Like, you'd just be waiting for it to fall off. <laughs> so I just thought this is, yeah, it might look a bit sketchy. But I think this is safer. I have a little bit more control, even though it looks like it just fall off. Just taking the buckets for a walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gets you gets you going seeing the boat tents up all the people around like when you live in Henley for 10 months of the year there's nothing going on and for me not being in Henley and then coming back to Henley it's a whole nother feeling so I'm so excited for qualifiers tomorrow let's go <laughs> Epic. And everyone, say thanks to Eamon for helping out, getting Yam and the rigger here safely. Hopefully, he shows his face later on in this episode. But for now, we're going to fuel up, because remember, food is fuel. And we'll see you tomorrow for Henley Raw Regatta Qualifiers. Let's go! We've made it to Henley Raw Regatta Qualifiers Day today. We've got the boat rigged up, so we're going to get out onto the water to attempt to get used to the water in only around about 8k. The water here at Henley is very, very different to any water you'll ever get. It can be quite flat, but also, even when it's flat, it's still pretty unpredictable and it feels bouncy, especially when you're in a single. So. Little bit of a session before the qualifiers this afternoon, just to at least prepare myself for what's going to happen for the water later on today. The cable that isn't actually a cable, just to make sure that if the GoPro does fall in, I can go save it. It has happened before. Unfortunately, I, I didn't I have the cable on it. <laughs> I lost mine in Ireland. <laughs> oh no. Do I bring blades or not? I'll bring blades. So, so going down is quite So, not, so I'm not a full one. So it's like just a key. Oh, let's go!
And we've made it off of the water in the boat tents relaxing post session. The water was, believe it or not, surprisingly bouncy. I forgot about it, especially when you're rowing on the Avon, super flat. I'm pretty sure I said this last year where I was like, oh no. Um, so really glad I went out there. So it's a bit of a little bit of a shock to the system to start with. And then you have to remind yourself how to row and get back into the swing of things, get back into the, the groove of rowing well, but also trying to deal with the conditions and then trying to apply that later on. So for now, as always, got to fuel up after the session because remember, food is fuel. And then a little bit of relaxation for the race, which is in six hours. So a lot of time to relax. So we're going to play with yam, not spend much time out in the sun at all. Want to keep energy for the yamming process for the time trial but also don't want to just be stagnant and sit still the whole time. So a lovely little balance, but I'll probably see you later on for the time trial. Let's go. Okay, Yam Squad, we're in the van, we're in the shade. We've got the fans going in here to keep us relatively cool in here, but outside it is so hot, the sun is beating down. So the warm up is gonna be a difficult one to main, not to maintain, to manage, because it would be very easy to overheat doing a normal warm-up. So what we're going to do today 
is slightly different. So we're going to hop on the Erg in the boat tents. It's slightly cooler, it's shaded. So do more of the warm up on the Erg, then jump in a cold shower, lower the body temperature as much as possible, and then go on the water for a shortened warm up so that the body temperature stays lower, or that's the theory, so that by the time I get to start the race, it's not like it would be if I didn't try and lower it. So that's the theory. Hopefully I'll stay cooler than I would be joining on with things like dropping my hat in the water, keeping my head nice and cool. I've got a little scarfy type thing as well, keeping my neck cool. But we deal with it. It's race day and the ultimate thing we're trying to do is go down the course as fast as I can in the single and row as well as I can to do so. So going to go warm up now, get out the ambulance into the heat of the day Getting excited, Yam Squad. Pretty nervous for this one. Really want to roll well and go as fast as I can. So let's get to it. Oh God, keep on. Oh God, get out of the way. The, the cooling down worked up wonders. Just figure it out yourself, you know what I mean? What matters is you have to Alright sir, I'm ready when you are. Okay, are you ready to go ahead of the guys in the red? I'm you ready. You can do that. Yeah, you Okay. Lots of left hand. Lots of left hand. Keep on going, lots of left hand. Okay, come and turn straight across.
Ja. Okay. I was expecting to see orange and then I saw you like beside it, like ah! <laughs> that was tough. I was like, props to the guy that went behind me. He was, going, he was like coming at me for the first day. Oh, no. Hello, mate. How was good? I was good. Get towards the end. I was going, sure, there's not that long left. I was like, he's coming up, but I sure don't know there. I was going, please. I was like, oh, 500 left. Oh, it was 800. Oh, no. And then there's him going, and you could hear the kids are loving it. They're going, come on, Cam, get that little old man. <laughs> Get that guy! You're, you're the left! I'm going to send him! He doesn't need support! It was good, I enjoyed that, I didn't do it. As soon as someone's like, as soon as someone's like closing on you, you then lose all sense of like, yeah, you're, you're like how far it is, the time. Oh, I better pace myself. Is he closing on me? Just don't let him get you, don't let him get you, don't let him get you. And then it was like, oh. But, <laughs> tough, tough old role. People, yeah. people finding out about their results. So, Kieran and I, we rode in the Commonwealth Regatta to, together, reigning Commonwealth champions. So, we're waiting for the results to come out over the Tanoi. Uh, overall, solid piece, but it's really hard with the time trials. You could feel like you're doing great and the results could say something different. So, for now, I'm happy with, well, for always, I'll be happy with that piece. It was a good piece. It was a strong piece. I got to play with some friends. Uh, it was a nice day out. <laughs> um, but it's just a matter of that's one section, like I said in the Met video, that's one section of the performance. The other section is how was the actual result, and we'll find that out soon. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Hey, well done, mate. Oh my god. qualified for the Diamond Challenge Skulls. C.J.L. Buffen. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! M. Brigham. Just a little, little thank you to... Uh, M. R. Oh, get a bit emotional! Big thanks to the... Um, the Yam Squad in the last 500 because I was flagging and you helped me get through it to the end. So that will be it for. Did it, is that right? The names qualified. No, they didn't. That will be it for the qualifying episode. Fortunately, that means I don't know if Eamon will, or unfortunately, I don't know if Eamon will be in the next videos because he does have other plans. But fortunately, it means there will be another episode in the Henley Raw Regatta 2023 season. Thank you so much to the Yam Squad for our support. Thank you to Coach Newbold. We're not done for the season. We've got some work to do. So let's get to it and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. hey, nice work, dude. You too. Come on, Yam. Into the ambulance, Yam. All of the fans keeping you cool. Finish line just there. Fingers crossed. One more <laughs> time. Take, <laughs> One more time. <laughs> right here, right here, right here, right here, and <laughs> the pizza's not cut. Still delicious.